how did dragons disappear from this earth? And why? Why have they left this physical realm to live inside of the of actually the dragon's realm? There is something that I can feel inside of this earth. That is every foot footstep that the dragon has taken here. When you focus enough yourself in front of your dragon altar, you can feel that dragons were physically here in this world. That humans have described them in more than more ways than, ways than one, but the dragons were here, recognized by people, sometimes even worshipped, until the day they were not. Until the day that humans saw themselves as, as gods, saw their own vision as gods. If you see the late vision of gods like Odin, like Zeus, like Yahweh, they are all with a human face. But before it, humans recognized other faces as gods. And one of them was that of the dragon. They have seen them, as many stories about them. In the ancient times, there were very beautiful stories, but later on, very much demonized. Until the moment that no one spotted a dragon anymore. And so, actually, what happened? What happened to the dragon, and how did they go away? Were they killed? Were, did, did they die? Stories said that dragons were could grow very very old so and actually that they have a fertility like no other so how come that the dragon is gone if they exist for so such a long time were they hunted to death or were were they just slain well actually um, there is also something that i could feel very much by sitting here all day long uh, when i can, when i can uh, in the forests to meditate to feel the dragon actually here in this forest I learned so much, I learned many things, such as where did the dragons come from and where did they go away. My brothers and sisters, just look at this tree. A dragon, a dragon is a forest spirit or a nature spirit. So inside of nature is where they can go away. This is their portal, a natural, natural portal that the dragon actually uses because it has connection with all of the dragon gods. And the dragon gods could cause them escape all the time whenever they wanted. Their time here was over because of humans. And that is also something that they have wrote, written down in the newspaper. I said the demise actually of the dragon is a cause of humans, cannot be other. All other creatures in this world live in hell because of humans. So of course dragons themselves are not human, so they might have decided to go away. They are forest spirits, but here they were physical. Once their body was gone, they decided to go inside of Tiamat's embrace, which means nature embrace. Nature is everything. Nature is their way, their portal. And inside of the river, for example, this is a portal for also for Leviathan and his children inside of the water. But here is Tiamat. Tiamat is where I, where I am closest to. So Tiamat is actually the, bo the body of the dragon, which is nature, which is the earth, the element of earth. Element of earth is very close to me, alongside with the waters. So the rivers, actually, you can say, that are very, very close to me. Rivers are the veins of the, of the, of the forest. It feeds every tree. And the trees and, and the soil, soil that is beneath it. Actually, whenever I... Whenever I just try to touch the soil, I can feel Tiamat's energy underneath. Underneath, just underneath this, this place where my hand is. This is where Tiamat still lives. Tiamat, Mother Earth, Organa, uh, depends on how you want to call her. I call her Tiamat, Mother of all things. Old mother of all dragons, Mother of life, Mother of, of serpents. And so that is what I could feel. So I could understand that I am very connected to forest spirits, forests like the dragons, forest spirits, dragons, and uh, that I can feel very much where they went to, where when their time here is up, when humans were just dominating this world. And this is actually not a story, this is truly what I experience, this is what I seriously <laughs> believe. This is not a loving matter actually, this is really something that I could feel for a long, long time. Inside of this forest, I can feel the dragon everywhere, and how can, how, how come? How come that I can feel the dragon everywhere? Because they are just underneath us, they are just on the soil, they are just inside of nature.
And there is one way, if you, if you are not close enough to nature, like I moved away to nature, I moved away so that I can connect much more with, with the dragons. Um, but if you don't, if you, if you cannot, if you live in the big city and you cannot go away and there is no nature at all, there is a way, of course, that you can create your portal. And that is your dragon altar. Your dragon altar that you put all of your emotions, all of your, your creativity in. It, I mean, that is, it's a donation to your dragon and you ask for the dragon to come to it. So the dragon can come to your, uh, to your dragon altar. Your dragon altar is actually not just decoration. It's, it's supposed to be a tool. It's supposed to be uh, a portal to the dragon realms. A portal to your dragon where your dragon can come through all the time. So if, if you sit in front of your altar, it should, it's actually sh supposed to be that your dragon can come through whenever they want, whenever you ask, whenever, and that you have uh, a connection with the dragon through your dragon altar. But in fact, um, uh, it's supposed to be nature, nature. And that is why the Dragon's Path or Draconic Wicca is a nature spirituality. It's all about nature. Some people ask themselves, dragons and nature, what is it about? Well, the dragons, uh, in, in, in mytholo mythology, in ancient times, ancient, not, not Christian times, ancient times, the dragons were connected with all the four elements. And all of the four elements they could use and bend and how they wanted. The ancient stories say, that they, it was not just fire that they breathed, they could control every element, all of the elements, even the soul, even spirit element. That is what the ancient stories say, until of course, and again, they are demonized, because they didn't understand what the dragon was doing. Um, and because of this, the dragons decided to go away. And that is, um, there is only one key that you can say that the dragon can come to you. And that key is you. That key lives inside of you. The only draconic energy that lives inside of this earth is nature in itself, the forests, the rivers. And But you are the key for the dragon to come. Because normally, when the dragon decides to go away, they will never, ever return. Of course, that is sad. That the, the idea from the dragon to never return to this place is sad because we are living here. But once we are gone, it doesn't need to be that dragons are still here. Because here there is suffering, there is pain, there is death. And that is not something that you want for the dragon. And the dragon doesn't want this anymore. The dragon, the dragon uh, what I can feel is the dragon is a guardian, but also some, uh, a, a spirit of, or a soul or a, a being that's supposed to tell humanity how to live how to live in this world and supposed to be a great example for humanity but humanity was stubborn humanity was dark humanity was selfish whenever uh, they evolved from apes humanity uh, i mean the, the, i've seen that the dragons supposed to be the great example for this new being on this earth but they were so destructive and so uh, in the beginning it was not they were very much worshipped but it's not worship that they wanted they needed to listen to them, but they didn't eventually. They wanted to listen to their own self, to their selfish self, you can say. But yeah, this is not, yeah, this, this is what, what I wrote in my book of Dragon Shadows. In my book of Dragon Shadows, I wrote that dragons were gone simply because of humans, of what they are, of what they are doing, the destruction, everything. And But it's even to this day that I, my dragon actually says to me, that they will evolve. They will, eventually, they will they will see through their mistakes, and so they will also be guardians for this world, which just needs time. So yeah, so uh, this is actually an explanation that I have in my book of Dragon Shadows, how dragons actually disappeared from this earth, and how why why people don't no longer believe in them simply because they don't see them and they don't have a human face, so they don't need to worship them. Uh, they don't want it actually, as, except for those who can feel them, of course. But how is how is it that you can feel it? Because nature is still strong. Of course, humanity destroys more and more from nature. But when you are close to nature, I, su I suppose and I recommend to you to have some um, connection with it, connection with the tree. For example, for example, this is a great example. Um, sometimes I just uh, touch a tree for example, in itself, and I try to connect 
with my draconic energy. This is actually very interesting. Uh, if you touch something like a, a tree, for example, and you try to emit the energy that lives inside of you. So this is actually connecting with your draconic energy. This is learning how it lives, how it grows, and how connected it is with Tiamat. Sometimes I just simply hug it and I hug the dragon. I hug the dragon while hugging it. For example, this is a great way to, if you, know, if you don't never had uh, a chance to hug the dragon and you want the dragon to, uh, a dragon to hug you, actually you, you want to hug the dragon, this is actually some, a good idea. Just emit the energy from your hands. Um, your energy um, inside of your hand palm is very interesting. This, uh, it's very strong. You can emit it and you can submit it. You can do the both of it and so you can do this so that this entire this entire tree connects immediately with Tiamat and has your draconic energy so now whenever you are hugging it you are hugging the dragon and this can be also be done with lifeless objects such as dragon flushes or things like this things that that supposed to uh, let you think about the dragon but yeah dragons in itself are forest spirits nature spirits and when you connect with nature, you connect with them. And that is very interesting because also you have draconic energy. So it, it immediately will talk to Tiamat that, is, that lives inside of the soil. And it's supposed to be a portal. Every, everything in nature is a portal for the dragon. Every, uh, and should also be, can be a portal for your draconic self as well. So interesting actually to know that you can interact with nature so much. In the deepest of the ocean it is, it is said that it's a portal to Leviathan. And also here in this forest it's a portal to Tiamat.